All right, guys, we're at the NHRA U.S. Nationals. We're all masked up because of COVID-19, but we're still out here having fun. I'm here with Brian Novak from Ford Motor Company. He's one of the head engineers on the Cobra Jet 1400, an amazing engineering marvel. Electric Cobra Jet, battery powered. It just ran 860 at what speed? 162 on that one. 162 miles an hour. Bob Task is driving it. He took it down the track, wheels up. He actually raced against that Cobra Jet behind us, driven by Tony Pedragon. And uh, Brian is going to take us through the car. He's going to show us some of the technology. And uh, we'll give you a look at what's under the hood because it's different than anything you've ever seen. Let's check it out. We are on the right side of the track. Get familiar with the car. Oh, that's sneaky quiet. Just like a Prius. Only, you know, thousand horsepower or whatever. For Ford performances, Bob Tasker, you, Bob Tasker, the third, excuse me, Bob Tasker, did not get it correct. What I understand, in the lab, this thing actually calculated out to be a 1,500 horsepower at the wind. But I know it's his first day in the seat of this car. It's got to be way different than what he's used to. I got to win. Hey, listen, this is a good way to start Indy, but uh, it's a great rivalry between me and Tony. We're just having some fun out here. We're showcasing an engineering marvel from Ford Motor Company to see what this car does and how smooth and how fast it accelerates. It's like being in a slingshot, so it's just really special for me with my family's history with Cobra Jet and, you know, my grandfather, he's smiling down from above, but... Uh, what does it feel like compared to a gas-powered car, Bob? Well, it's very, very different, and everybody is, is kind of gravitating to sound. For me, it's it's how the car torques going down the track. It's very um, it's very flat. It, it, where a typical gas car will rotate, pick up the left front wheel, this car wants to go straight because it doesn't have all that rotating mass like an engine. So. It's a blast to drive. I'm not saying I'm gonna trade it in for the Mustang bunny car yet, but uh, it's an incredible technology. And the burnout's exciting, everything, oh, yeah. the wheels. What did you run on that run? You beat Tony. I don't know, but I beat him. That's all that matters. Hey, how you guys doing? My name's Brian Novak from Ford Performance, and I was the engineering supervisor on the Cobra Jet 1400. So I wanted to take you guys on a quick little walk around and talk on the car a little bit. So. Uh, what we've got here are four electric motors from Cascadia Motion, along with inverters and controllers from them. Uh, it's got a um, the whole software controller. It's actually from AEM EV Performance that we, our Ford Performance engineers, have worked alongside them to create a whole control software, uh, you know, controlling capability of the car. So, how do you discharge from the battery? How much power to put the motors? How long of a wheel stand you want it to do? Uh, we basically have infinite control over this. Um, so essentially the whole goal for the program for us is obviously we've got our successful uh, gas Cobra Jet. Um, we wanted to build something that was electric powered and runs at the same time and is competitive with that car. So that's what we brought here to U.S. Nationals. So essentially what we got here is a, a Cobra Jet with 1500 rear wheel horsepower, um, you know, bad, completely electric and battery powered. Uh, we've got batteries situated in the front and the back of the car. Um, you know, and, and developing alongside with Hancock and Lane and MLE to create uh, essentially what is the fastest stock bodied race car around uh, that is electric, that's electric powered. So a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of development. Uh, you know, really, you know, something you've never seen before with this engine bay uh, or motor bay, as you know, all of us are adjusting to this. Um, so from the motor bay and everything we've got in there, but it is really based directly off a of Cobra Jet. So everything's been beefed up a little bit to take the power that we're putting down. Um, but it's just, it's a huge part of us at Ford Performance is to be able to take these things and learn from them. Because our job, at least, is to 
uh, is to take all this electrification and, and see how do we get the max performance out of it. And not just performance, but how do we more efficient with it? Because obviously that's huge for electric vehicles and range. So Ford spent $11.5 billion in electrification and changing some of our lineup over and producing more electric cars. Uh, and this is just part of our development efforts to make sure that we're the best we can be with that. So, Brian, does any of this translate to the Mach-E and what's going to happen with performance versions of the Mach-E that's coming out? So the, the Mustang Mach-E, so we've actually built another demonstrator, so we've done two at the same time right now. So we've got the Cobra Jet 1400 and the Mustang Mach-E 1400. And so that car is directly based off the Mustang Mach-E body in white, so directly out of the factory. And we've taken that one and converted that one into just a really all-around motorsports monster on that thing. Um, so essentially what we're doing, we're not using the same parts as that car, but what we're doing is how do you use that electric energy? Um, how do you develop the battery for high discharge? How do you do these sorts of things? And that's the sort of information that we learn that we give back to the performance team. And they can choose how they want to use it, but um, we just learn how we push these things to the absolute limit. Man, that's awesome. So. This is a Cobra Jet in every shape of the word. Um, this has a Cobra Jet suspension, just like the regular Cobra Jet, correct? Yep, correct. And it's also rear wheel drive, so it's not all wheel drive, and you're driving through a transmission and drive shift. Can you explain that? Yep, yeah, so it's exactly like, a, you know, exactly like, it's a Cobra Jet in, in name. So we've got the motors in the front, so there's two stacks of motors. So there's two motors on the top and two motors on the bottom. And there's a summing gearbox in between those in the back here. And that gearbox here takes the input or the output from the top motor and the bottom motor, essentially puts them into one input shaft directly into the transmission. And that's the same transmission and torque converter that's on the Cobra Jet. So it's all been beefed up to take the power, but it's essentially the same thing. So we take this electric powertrain in the front and it goes essentially right into a Cobra Jet powertrain. So rear wheel drive, drag slicks, uh, drive shaft, rear end, all specific for this car and tuned for this car, but it's essentially the same thing. That's Good awesome. So um, as far as driver Saturday, control, does the driver have to do anything specific to it being an electric car? No, it actually drives, I mean, you know, maybe we gave Bob 10 minutes worth of instruction on how to drive the car. It brings the same way. It has a trans brake. It does everything that that Cobra Jet does over there. It does have some extra controls on how we're able to do, how we're able to do launches and that sort of thing and do uh, burnouts that you have to be in specific setups. But um, it's set up to work just like anything else. So you can drive that gas car and get right in this car and drive it. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for your time. And we look forward to seeing this thing on track. And we also look forward to seeing what you can do with this thing down the road. No problem. Keep going faster in it. Over here on the right side of the track. Get familiar with the car. Oh, that's sneaky quiet. Just like a Prius. Only, you know, thousand horsepower or whatever. For Ford Performance, this is Bob Task of you. Bob Task of the third, excuse me. Bob Task. This is the electric coverage. So I said it's a thousand horsepower. All right, I did not get it correct. What I understand in the lab, this thing actually calculated out to be a 1500 horsepower at the wind. 